And you're from Brooklyn? I was born in Brooklyn. My mom's from Brooklyn. York, New York, York, New Brooklyn. York, Brooklyn. Oh, York, Brooklyn. On this collector tune for Collectors Cafe, bringing the world of cartoons and collectibles together. I can make very good eggplant parmesan. I can make great with the CD. And I think it's better than my mom, so I, mean, I know. I don't, I don't tell her that, really. Too late. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're crazy around here. Thanks for being here. Were you surprised how quickly Jackie and Deborah took off? Yeah, I was surprised because I had been doing it in a comedy club in the East Village for like 30 people for five years. <laughs> so when YouTube came along, it was like 2006 and it was new and I was just kind of throwing stuff out there. Watching the hits come in was totally unexpected. Did you grow up imitating your mother? I did, yeah. It started with an impersonation of her going to Bamberg. And my mom had some wigs, you know, that I found and what was like, oh my god, oh, these, are, these are disgusting. What are these? <laughs> I need to put them on my head. Did your mom play a lot of music when you were growing up? We would sing in the car a lot. That was a big one. And my mom would dance the car. She would swerve it around like, ah, we're dancing. And then she would swerve it like that. And then if we were at a stoplight or she would just like, break and then the, the, the car would jerk and that's no, the really? like, we're dancing, we're dancing in the car. What does she think of you doing her? Oh, she loves it. When we won the Emmy, she was there with me. And she was your date? She was my date. Oh, that's great. Yeah, she's awesome. In the show, you play opposite H. John Benjamin. Mm, that asshole. No, he's wonderful. I love John. I've always loved Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein plays Mr. Fishholder, who is our landlord. Works every time. My mother played bongos. Thank you. Bob, you were flat. So you've had a lot of celebrity guests on yeah. your show. You ever get any goosebumps? <laughs> Henry Winkler. The, the table reads never get emotional, but I did get chills because he's just the nicest guy and so professional and sweet. As a child, did you collect? I love music equipment. I have like oh, wow. a gearhead, um, old digital samplers and keyboards. Yeah. Do you collect anything else now? This I got <gasps> at Comic-Con. This is a, a, a limited edition uh, PV Star Wars guitar. Oh, wow. With Darth Vader on there. I collect these at all the table reads. Th these are our scripts and um, they do really cool artwork on the, the cover of these, so people c come and we, we sign it for them at the readings. So then I got this at Comic-Con. That's very big. It is big, and this is a Godzilla. Here, I'll show you. It comes in like all these different parts, but... So look at that, huh? Oh, wow. That is a Godzilla. He looks pissed. Does he do anything? His fist goes flying. Out. Oh, that's why his fist is up there. Yeah, he'll fist, he'll fist, he'll fist you. you. <laughs> These cool comic books, they're fun to look at. Look, it's Jimmy Jr. in here, played by H. John Benjamin. These are really cool. Game time. Let's do it. Okay. Let's play. Hot or not, in your mother's voice. Justin Bieber. Hot. Ethan Hawke. Hot. Ryan Gosling. Hot. The Weeknd. <laughs> Hot voice. Kanye West. Hot. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Bender, Benderland. George Clooney. Hot. Fun facts of life. Take the good, you take, take the, the bad. Da, 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 the facts of life. Sorry. I really thank you for being here. You can find John Roberts on the hit show Bob's Burgers. I'm his collector too, Laura Summer for Collectors Cafe. All right. Yeah. Visit collectorscafe.com.